23rd, 2013, in Tom Adams' shop, Miss Canada 4 is still here. And you can see from this, the engine is in place. And if I just crawl up here a little bit further, you can see that they are starting to work on a number of pieces of the major bits of the plumbing. Specifically, there, resting on the floor, is the oil cooling tank, which will be installed on that gray platform there. All the bits and pieces of plumbing down to get the water intake are in place. And on the other side of where I'm standing right now, and I'll show you that on the way back, the ADI, ADI or the methanol injection tank and is installed and ready to go. I'll just try to walk slowly along the side here on a bunch of uh, trestles so I don't fall off and do a face plant. You can see looking to the cockpit there, the fuel tank, the main fuel tank, right up back against the driver's seat. And beside it is one of the two saddle tanks, cylindrical saddle tanks. Main saddle tank is 54 gallons. I think the cylindrical saddle tanks are something like 18 or, or 12 or something like that. And I'll go, turn it off now and just go to the back of the boat. Here we are looking at the back open hatches concealing the gas tanks. Just do a walk around the gantry here. And you can see the plumbing is all in place. Fuel filters are in place. The valves are in place. And everything's connected together. We'll continue our walk around the boat. It's nice today. The shop is quiet on a Saturday, so I'm not dealing with the sound of running planers and saws and everything else. The first of the gauge packages are in place. What you have is a black mat backdrop with a polished, varnished mahogany plate and some vintage aircraft gauges are there. Try to get up there and get a better look at them in a second. Just continue the walk around. You can see the steering wheel, the original steering wheel there has been refinished. It's exactly as it was when Harold and Lorna Wilson drove it in 1949 and 1950. Just continue the walk around. Mr. Griffin Looking good, as usual. Just love that name, Rolls-Royce. And now you can see off the side there in front of the black mat hanging on the side of the boat. I'll try to zoom in on it. You might be able to see a little bit of the ADI tank installed. That'll be a water methanol injection which will be shot into the eye of the supercharger at over 110 miles an hour to give it that little kick in the pants that uh, Harold Wilson described was a thrill without equal, I imagine. As you can see, all the cover boards on Miss Canada are now in. They have to be finished. One of the things that Tom is doing right now as a builder is he's working on having to polish up the decks. Now, you can take a look at the number of screws that are in the deck line to keep this boat together. What Tom has decided to do is he wants all those screws to look like they did when they were first put in there, including also not just the screws, but the clinch nails that are along the side here. And you can see a bunch of clinch nails here. You can see some of them are dull and some of them are bright. What Tom has decided to do is to remove them all, buff them, and put them back in, in place, so that they're bright, and then seal them so they will look like this. Now that's craftsmanship and artistry 
and insistence upon perfection. So here we are back at the completed walk around, Miss Canada 4. It's February the 23rd. In two months, we will have no snow, open waters, and we'll be looking for the opportunity to put a battery in and fuel it up and see what could happen. Here is the driver's side. They take a look at the steering wheel. And of course, on the mechanic side, you won't see them all now, there are just three there, but through the steering wheel you can see the some of the additional gauges. Those are the first three that will be in. There will be many more, including a series of switches to control the magnetos, starter switch, fuel prime switch, and then, of course, your full fuel tow, uh, flow switch. So there will be a raft of switches for the guy who's going to be sitting, or the lady, who's going to be sitting in the mechanic's seat to pay attention to. Down there on the floor is the template for the prop shaft covering scatter shield, which will probably be constructed of either steel or aluminum. And the prop shaft goes right underneath the seat. So, and what you're looking forward there at is the tail end of the gearbox. And this will all be done in the next couple of weeks. What you're looking at right now is the mechanics of the steering. And here's the steering wheel. You can see my hand turning it. If you look down, you'll see a big black pipe just running off that, moving forward and backwards. And of course, that is articulated. And I'm just going to spin it around here. And you can see the pipe running back there alongside between the tanks, the saddle tank and the main tank, and it goes back into the quadrant at the back of the boat. I'll just walk down along that. And you can see the shaft right here going through the second last frame on the boat. Of course, that's what that leads to. Once again, I have to go around the gantry here. Is a connection to the arm. And there you can see the arm coming through. And this right here, I'll just move these pieces of wood. And you can see the whole of the steering mechanism. Now, this was a weak point in the boat. Of course, she prop rode, they never expected her to prop ride before. So what Tom Adams and his crew has done is not only did they put back in the original knee braces, you can see them there, one on one side, one on the other, and then down the bottom, again, one on one side, one on the other. But what he's done is he's boxed in the whole back of the trailer, uh, trailer, whole back of the transom in an aluminum box to give it a much more strength. This boat was never expected to ride on its prop, it did. So the torquing and the pressure on that part of the boat was enormous, which accounts for some of its behavior characteristics in 1949-1950. And also the failure of the hull uh, crack points that were discovered when the boat was disassembled. Her finish a little dull from all the years upon her hull Though the beauty of her form remains the same Soon all of us will see the only place for her to be Is to fly upon the water once again